これは緊急の非常事態です東京湾に異常が発生しています市民の皆様には直ちに避難するようお願い申し上げます繰り返しますこれは警告ではありませんどうか直ちに避難してくださいついてください。別のルートを探します。あれはなんだ。また、電子爆弾。Ever since the release of Godzilla Minus One, I've been thinking about how to use AI to make my own cinematic monster movie. AI filmmaking right now is good for some things, but horrible for others. Generating images that are indistinguishable from reality is now a possibility. However, great AI video is still not here yet. Making subtle animations and light movement is also working, but generating characters that move exactly the way you want is still very challenging. Dialogue and human talking scenes are also doing better as well, even though it's still the uncanny valley days. With a little bit of FX work, I wanted to try and minimize the stuff that screams AI while also adding camera moves that will make the film look more cinematic. This is going to help you make your videos look way better than if you used AI by itself and will really help you stand out from the competition. Keep watching to see the one secret weapon that will take your cinematic AI video to the next level. Scene one. I wanted to set the scene that there's a panic happening, but the problem is that AI is really bad at creating a scene of a bunch of people running. So I came up with the idea of the panic happening inside the TV. The idea behind this is to hide a lot of the AI stuff that looks bad, but still get your message across. This scene is basically a 3D scene inside After Effects. I have the room generated by Mid Journey. I cut out the TV screen and also the window. Then, in the background behind the window, I created a moving tree generated by Runway ML. And then, in between the moving tree and the window, I added a dust storm that I got from Motion Array. Also, keep in mind, I'm not really the best at prompting. I just keep re rolling prompts until I get something I like. In addition, I also generated a fake TV screen with Mid Journey. In After Effects, I created the Dolly In effect, and because this is a 3D scene, the Dolly looks convincing, since there's a parallax effect being created in the background. It's a subtle thing, but using the 3D layers really helped to signify to the viewer that you are actually in 3D. And you are dollying in instead of using a zoom effect. All the while, I'm layering in sound effects and creating a quick earthquake impact effect every time you hear the monster's footsteps. Inside the TV, I generated this whole sequence、uh, with the talking head with Hey Jen, and then the crowd scenes with Runway ML, as well as the picture of the monster with Mid Journey. Here's the full TV sequence upscaled. これは緊急の非常事態です。東京湾に異常が発生しています。市民の皆様には、直ちに避難するようお願い申し上げます。繰り返します。これは警告ではありません。どうか直ちに避難してください。And you can kind of see that the videos that I generated with Runway ML do not look very good. But because they're in the TV, it kind of hides the fact that these,、um, these images are not too good. In scenes two and three, these are pretty easy. These are both images in Mid Journey. Then I upscaled it with Topaz Labs Gigapixel. You can also use Topaz Labs Photo AI. So I really prefer using Topaz Gigapixel over Mid Journey's native upscaling feature because Gigapixel gives you a little bit more detail. And makes things a little bit more realistic. You also have more options of different AI models to choose when upscaling. 
And this is really the secret to getting some really, really nice upscaled images with good detail. Finally, I animated it with Runway ML. In scene four, I wanted to add the little girl scene as I just wanted a filler scene um, and I didn't want to stay on the main character for too long. Also, this scene will introduce a new character to the movie. So in this shot, I cut out the background windows with Photoshop, then composited some movement in the back using stock video, then I blurred the video. Then I created a slight dolly in movement. I also used puppet pin inside After Effects to make the girl's head move slightly as the dolly in to make it seem like it's not just a still image. It's a subtle thing, but it helps to make this scene appear real. While I was filming this video, another tool actually came out that can do this relatively easily. It's called Leonardo AI, and here's a generation I made from it. I actually like this video a lot, except the movement in the back is still a little fake looking. For some reason, I found the movement to look a lot more natural overall with Leonardo, and I think it's superior to Runway ML at this juncture. This next scene, it is a 3D scene inside After Effects. I generated the bus with Mid Journey, then masked the background of the bus. Uh, then I created this dust explosion image with Mid Journey and created the video with Runway ML. Then I composited the video with the bus inside a 3D scene in After Effects and created a camera that racks the focus from the bus to the dust storm while also moving up. This creates a nice cinematic effect. Then add onto it, I added a dust effect in front of the bus, adding more movement to the image. The problem with a lot of AI video is that there's not enough movement in your, in your videos. So in order to combat that, you have to add movement through special effects and other things to make it seem like it's more cinematic. So now for the secret weapon. The secret weapon that a lot of AI filmmakers are using these days is Topaz Labs Video AI and Topaz Labs Gigapixel. So you download some video from a AI video generator like Runway ML or maybe Pika Labs. And the problem is the video comes out with a low frame rate and bad resolution. Now this is where Topaz Labs comes in as it can generate frames for you going from 24 frames per second to 60 frames per second. And it can also upscale your video in a very realistic and better way than if you just manually increase the resolution. Uh, and that's because it, Topaz Labs Video AI actually generates new details into your video using AI, using the data from that video. It can imagine new uh, details and it makes your video look crisp and nice and sharp. In addition, check this out. I actually upscaled the scene with Topaz Labs Video AI uh, because I wanted to add a little bit more resolution after uh, I composited the two images um, because the dust storm generated with runway ML, I felt like it, it looked a little fake. So having the extra resolution helps to make this seem a little bit more realistic. This scene, I composited a bus driver generated with Hey Gen. I find that Hey Gen is one of the best tools at making dialogue scenes. Um, and then I added the same dust scene from before the dust storm and I, I made it a lower opacity and I put it on top of the bus driver. And this does two things. First of all, it hides the, that the bus driver is obviously AI quality. So you kind of see the bus driver, but he's at like 50% opacity. And it also makes the scene look a little bit more realistic as you're going to be able to see the reflection of the dust storm in the window of the bus. This next scene, I reintroduced the protagonist with a video from Hey Jen using an image I generated in Mid Journey. And again, for these characters to look similar, you kind of just have to describe the character. So I put Asian male with a specific haircut and wearing a suede brown suit in a bus. Then to make this seem even more real, I also added some camera shake to the scene to make it a little bit more cinematic. And also whenever you have scenes that have camera shake, it makes it less obvious that this is AI generated. Uh, when you just have a still image, um, people can pick out at a lot of the, the AI generated uh, aspects. And of course, you know, this is still not very perfect. It still looks like it's AI generated. 
However, it does look decent, in my opinion. In addition, I also slowly darken the image to represent the dust storm that's happening um, that will be coming out in the next scene. Um, this dust storm was 100% generated with Runway ML, then upscaled with Topaz Video AI. Um, this scene here was fully generated with Runway ML, but it's definitely the fakest scene of the whole movie. You know, AI is still not very good at making a, a video like this where there's a lot of action happening. So to hide a lot of the AI stuff, I color dodged a storm on top of it to make it less noticeable that this is an AI scene. Then I added a fog over that to make it seem like it's less visibility on purpose. Overall, AI still needs a long way to go before it can make a scene like this look realistic. And finally, I have my monster scene. So I generated this monster with mid journey. I made it a combination of Godzilla and King Kong. And then I found one image that looked pretty good. It makes it look kind of like a big monster bear um, with scales. And so then I, I, once I had that good image, I used runway ML to, you know, figure out what kind of animations I could do with it. Um, and then to be honest, I didn't really like any of the animations that runway ML made. So I had to like get creative here, right? So runway was used to create the chest movement because I found one where it had some nice chest movement. However, I couldn't get the mouth movement to look right. So I manually generated the frames in Photoshop. So I just made four frames. you can see here, and then I animated them with Runway's frame interpolation option. And that created a, a little animation that looked pretty decent. And to make it even better, I actually changed the speed of each frame so that it actually makes it look a lot more realistic. Then I composited the head on top of the body and I did this all in After Effects. Uh, and then, you know, I had to do a little bit of masking to make it look like it's it fits the body and whatnot. In addition, I also composited a bunch of storm effects on top of the monster, as well as some fog effects to hide some of the AI artifacts. And finally, I upscaled everything using Topaz Video AI to 8K, which makes the video sharper and a bit more realistic. Cool. Anyways, I just want to say that AI has come a long way. Of course, it's not perfect yet, and it's definitely, it definitely still looks like it's AI generated, but with the right creative processes in place, you can create some really nice storylines with AI. And so, I mean, obviously this isn't Hollywood quality or anything like that, but it just shows that there are a lot of cool things you can do right now that's gonna make, help you make really nice cinematic AI videos. And I think in one to two years, the quality here is gonna get so good and the upscaling and the, the video upscaling is gonna be so good that we're gonna be able to disrupt Hollywood with this technology. So thank you so much. Let me know what you think and uh, see you in the next video.